driving video for you guys today but our battery decided not to play ball um, so we've got that on a tender for the next couple of hours um, I don't know if it's the battery or the alternator so I've got a tool that my bro gave me um, we're gonna be yeah checking that out but anyway so today I've got some wheels um, they're just my drift wheels that we need painting uh, so I've got them in here, I'm uh, still going to take you guys through the process. I'm um, going to be doing them in gloss white. Uh, so we got that, we got our white primer, um, then our clear coat. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is my first time actually doing this, first time ever painting wheels and stuff. Um, if this one goes all good, we'll get these done. Um, so yeah, it's a learning process for me. Hopefully, I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube, so I yeah, kind of know what I'm up to. Um, but yeah, I'll bring you guys with me, and uh, if you guys are looking to do it, maybe uh, if this goes right, you guys can crack on and do it as well. So let's get into it. So yeah, first thing we've got to do, obviously, clean them up. So it's got some window and glass cleaner. Um, just get all the all the crap out of them, and uh, yeah. So another reason that we're painting these is these are actually off my old S13 um, and they were 4x1145 or whatever the fitment is. Um, but to fit my 14, um, we had to get them re-drilled. Uh, so yeah, they've been welded up, all the other holes by a professional. Um, so they look a little ugly with all the weld marks and stuff all over them. So yeah, we thought, I'm going to have to paint them black anyway, but thought we'll try a different colour, see how that comes up because um, I do want to get this painted as well. Um, so my three-piece wheels, actually I haven't shown you guys them, my three-piece wheels we're gonna hopefully get painted. Um, if the white comes out all good, we'll probably end up doing them white. Uh, if not, then I send them off to a professional do. Uh, but yeah. Hey, so um, the first thing we done, we went down uh, to home base and just got a medium grip. Um, I was looking for some like 300 and 600 grip, but they, they didn't seem to have any. Um, so yeah, got a medium grit. This one's pretty rough. Uh, we're going to be wet sanding first, um, just to make sure we get it, get a lot of the um, the crap off, and hopefully wear down some of this um, the paint that's already been put on because it's pretty thick. Um, so yeah, if we can get a bit of that down, we're in a good place. Come on. Probably scuffed them enough with that one. Um, now what we're probably going to do, just clean them up. Um, you can just take our cloth, wipe them up, uh, clean it down, and then we'll um, we'll move on to our fine grade, uh, and that'll be a dry, dry sand. And um, yeah, we should be ready for our primer. Again, I ain't no expert at this sort of stuff. I just watched a couple of YouTube videos um, and said so I'll give it a crack. I've got a few wheels that I don't really care about what what they look like and uh, what happens to them. So, yeah. Take that into account if you're watching the video and you want to do this by yourself. Yeah, so I've been going for about oh, 20 odd minutes now um, with the wet sanding and then the, the dry sanding. You can see it's all gone like a mat. Um, which is perfect. I know we've scored them up enough um, so that our paint will stick and there's got no, you know, all the, um, the grooves and shit have gone out of it. So, no, nah, that's pretty mean. This bit, obviously, the only drift wheel, so I don't really care. If I wanted to get rid of them, I'd probably take a grinder and, uh, and try to grind them down. But uh, at the end of the day, they're just drift wheels and, uh, yeah, don't really care about them too much. Um, but to wipe it down, got um, some methylated spirits. Um, and that's just going to get rid of all the chemicals and shit. Um, so that it gives our paint the best chance of sticking. So, going to crack on with that. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. Ooh, strong. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss. 
is a thing We can sleep under the stars We can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars Driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars We can sleep under the stars Under the stars And if you're uh feel like me and you're on a budget just got our fans here so once i've done a coat i'm gonna shut the uh shut the roller door set this up so it's blowing some heat on try dry um dry all our paint and stuff out uh quicker so yeah first up we've got our primer uh all from halfords so i think all up all the paint and stuff cost me probably about 70 quid um including all the um sandpaper and stuff as well and the spirits all right let's get it started so i'm just going to do like a little dusting over it uh let that dry and then we'll carry on That's all that we're gonna do for the first first coat. Just a real nice little dusting. Um, then yeah, when that's uh, when that's all dry, then we'll go over with a bit of a thicker coat. Then again, another thicker coat after that. So see how it dries. See if these are uh, get a little drier. Just stood up on there. Yeah, so that's been drying for about five, no, about ten minutes now. Um, so it's ready for a bit of a thicker coat now. Hopefully that little dusting just gives it enough to settle um, and stick to. So let's crack on with the uh, with the second coat. Should give them a shake. And what we're gonna do? Um, we're gonna try to do the barrel first and then work our ways into the centre. So yeah, I think there's a nice little, uh, nice car. I don't want it too thick to where it's running. Um, I see loads of people make that mistake. Not that I'm a professional painter, but from all the YouTube videos and stuff that I've seen, yeah, just try. I'd rather do an extra coat than um, lay, lay it on too thick and it starts running because they're quite hard to clean up. Well, for me anyway, quite hard to clean up. But uh, yeah, we're just going to stand this up so we get our professional dryer to dry it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So yeah, that's us on our first first coat of the uh, of the gloss. Definitely wear a mask, hey? Probably a uh, filterized one. Whoa. Bloody hell. Yeah, probably not the best idea to do it in a closed garage with uh, with no mask on, but uh, oh. one more um, one more coat and we'll be all good. Then we'll move on to our clear. So, what it looks like though, it looks like it's coming out pretty nice. Uh, one thing I did realize um, is like literally every imperfection um, comes out in it. So, if you're going to be doing it, make sure and you want it to look nice if it's going on something nice. Um, definitely make sure you take a lot more time than I did to prepare your wheels um, or anything that you're painting really. Just make sure you take the time to prepare it because uh, we'll probably end up doing this car at some point as well but I'll try try to show you guys see if it comes up like all this sort of stuff like loads of imperfections on this um, from the 
from the uh, roll cage in there as well. Um, I think the guy that put it in, like when he was trying to chuck it up on here, um, just smacked it all over it and it's, yeah, as you can see, so. When we do come to painting this car, probably won't be too precious with it either. Um, I don't know if we're gonna rattle can it. Might do, but I'm gonna go black. Um, black it all out. I did want to go the paint the black like my RS6, um, but we'll see. Um, I've got a mate who's a, a painter and has actual paint booth and stuff, so might see if we can go in on on, on a weekend or on a Sunday or something um, when he's not too busy. And uh, yeah, see if we can give that a crack. Like even the hood, the hood's real rough. Um, and I also thought, because we're, we're running into a lot of overheating issues with this car, um, obviously got the big ass turbo in there, um, obviously going to create a lot of heat, so I was wondering maybe cutting um, some sort of stencils out up here, um, yeah, and having a play with that maybe, but yeah, I don't know, we'll see loads of things to do not enough time so yeah anyway catch you when we go for the third uh, third round clear coat to go now so I'll show you guys I don't know if I'll film any of the uh, clear coat going on probably be pretty boring just watching me spray so probably catch you guys when uh, when all three of them clear coats are done and uh, yeah give you guys a compar uh, comparison of what uh, will look like before and after so it's so our next day um, the wheels actually come out pretty decent so Given that, I'm gonna be doing all three. You've got out of the rear and two fronts. Um, I probably won't show too much of that. Uh, you guys already seen the process um, on the on the last wheel I done. So I'm gonna smash them out. Um, then we've got a few bits that we need to do on the on the S14. Hopefully take the, uh, half the cage out today. Just leave the back half. Um, give me a bit more headroom because every time I drive it, I smack my head on them. Um, what else? Gonna go to a shop, try find some space, um, the bolts for the spaces. At the minute, I've only got four of them. Um, and I can find, I think they're M12 by one, one by 25 um, threads. So I need the tapered ones at the minute. I can only find the flat edge. So yeah, we're gonna go look for them. Hopefully we can get them and then bolt the wheels on. If I can find the spaces, I'll probably go and get the two rear wheels at least um, the ones that I've painted white, fitted with tyres. Um, strap them on, it should look pretty banging, but yeah, stay tuned. So yeah, we just uh, just finished up doing our first coat on the wheels um, of primer. Like I said, probably not gonna show too much of that. I'll just let that dry and keep cracking on with it. But uh, while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna come in and tackle the roll cage. Um, you see, it's a, it's a Bolton cage, eh? so you got just bolts there, bolts up in here, um, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave this back part of it. Um, at some point, I will pull it out. I want to paint it. I think the theme I'm gonna go with with the car is just a black and white. Um, so obviously black body, white wheels, white cage. Um, then I don't know when, but whenever Aaron can do it. Um, hopefully we can drop the engine out, then paint um, the whole tube front end. Um, yeah, so let's crack on with that, try to get this out before the bro wakes up. I can't even see him. But once he wakes up, he'll want to play in the car. Um, so we'll probably go for a cruise, go out for a spin, and uh, yeah, let's get it. No, no, I'm, I'm 
jumping there, bro. And loves what it. What is big here? Bill? Yeah, car's broken, bro. Ta. 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 Go on this. You good? <laughs> Stay there. No, no, no. Stay in the seat, bro. Bye, bye. No, no, boy. Oh, yeah, I need a beer now. Yeah. 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 Go, kid. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Later, bro. You're for a drift. Yeah. Yeah. But a car. Yeah, the car. Oh no. Nah. Uh -huh. So we finished, it took us about an hour. Um, some of the bolts were pretty hard to get to, but we've got that side over here. And if we have a look in here, yeah, like I said, we've just got that half cage at the back. Um, Gives us way more room around here. Uh, I'm shame I cut up that, but we'll, um, I think we'll end up looking for a new dash anyway. Um, and just do a new setup and everything on that. So, what do you reckon, bro? What do you reckon? Look pretty cool, eh? Yeah? It look pretty cool? Huh? Yeah? But! <gasps> hey! <laughs> Hi! Hi! No. Hiya! Hiya! Hey? Nah. Hiya! See, next, uh, I suppose we go for a ride, eh? Should we go look? Yeah? Should we go for a ride? No, Rickens, no. Yeah. 